for... Should, uh, get, should get it up this morning, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been you today. I'll do a quick gear mention, guys. Knife I brought off here today was the Diving Sparrow Boreal. Love this knife. This is a knife that uh, by Diving Sparrow Knife Works. I bought it new but technically second hand from Forest Walker 111 so there's a shout out. It's, uh, it's a big heavy knife. Real nice knife. For axes today, you guys know I love my axes. This is a, a German head that I got off my last landlord. So the previous house I was staying at, um, the lady was away a lot and uh, I was sort of taking care of her house. And uh, I saw a little axe with this stamp in it. That was all I needed. I asked her for it. I uh, restored it, cleaned off some old paint, put an edge on it, which I mean, the axe was just kind of demolished. It was just a little hatchet. So uh, from there, I hung a little birch handle. It was the shortest handle I've ever seen on an axe. It was about this long, had a quite a curve, and I made it to be uh, sort of a little hand axe. If you've seen it, the Grands Forest Brooks axes, those little tiny ones, barely a handle on there, that's what I made. But uh, I found it was just a waste of a nice head for me right now. So hung it on this, uh, I believe it's a 20 or 21 inch handle. Real small piece of hickory, just like I like. See that grain orientation is pretty nice. You got that palm swell in both directions. The hanging is probably one of my best yet. Just look how pretty that is. Getting better each time, which is the name of the game. You don't have to be perfect to start, but you gotta start to be perfect. I think that's how the saying goes. Just real happy. So this morning is my first time uh, taking this axe for a run and just absolutely love it. Super light, small handle. Man, just perfect axe. And I have this handcrafted leather sheath here. Beeswax, burnish edges. It's just uh, real happy with it. Just real nice little package. Perfect little pack axe. Also give a quick shout to Ray Bartlett's gear. He's got this gorgeous little Husqvarna hatchet. You see that polish he has on that edge there. Very nice. Husqvarna are, uh, makes great axes. Real nice taper. You really get so much for your money. That's a nice hang job too. Real nice uh, hanging there. Nice. He uh, reprofiled the handle a little bit. He attached this leather lanyard to the handle. Of course, it's got a hair popping edge. He's also carrying, among other knives, this is his Buck Custom Shop 110. Uh, what's what's the scale material on this one? Uh, heritage Walnut. So this is a Heritage Walnut option, just to give you guys an option if you're looking. So this is a custom order. This is S30V steel. Satin finish, yes? Yeah, you can't get S30B in mirror. Okay. I guess it costs too much in production. Too much, yeah. Oh man, that is a gorgeous knife. How can you beat the class of that? I mean, that's just pure class. What a what a heirloom item. Imagine if he uses this for for 20 years and passes along to a kid or a grandson or something. Amazing.